This tutorial will show you how to make a Collaborate Room within your course. I already have a Collaborate button set up within the menu navigation area. And as you can see, I'm in that area. From there, I will go to Add Interactive Tool and you will see Blackboard Collaborate. Click on that. I currently have no sessions, which are sometimes called rooms, so I will create a session. Click on that button. There are four tabs along the top here, so let's take them one at a time. In information, it is the name of the course, which is the default for the session title. I will call this Collaborate Room. Under session type, you can keep it on course. For the date, this is the date that the session will be available in this particular course or when you course copy in future blocks or semesters. So it's best to set it a year from now. By clicking on this calendar of end date, you can then click the double arrow and just set it maybe a day within a year of the original date. From there, 15 minutes is just fine. Recording mode, this is for archives, so you'd like to have that set on manual. These defaults here are quite fine. Under supervised, you may want to check that. That will allow you to see any private conversations going on between your students in the chat area. All permissions would allow students to have access to the whiteboard or the chat area or their microphone that's on their headset and such so they can communicate with you if that's their choice. You want to give those permissions in the beginning. Raise hand on entry allows you to know when a student walks in to the collaborate area. I say walks in, but virtually, you know what I mean. If you're grading this collaborate session, you would click this. From there, it would make a column in the grade center and you can set the points accordingly. If you're doing a review session or virtual office hours, you do not need to set this grade at all. We're not quite done yet, so don't click Submit. Under Participation, these would be various people that may have moderator rights in your course. If you are setting up an assignment with your course that the students have to use Wimba and record something, from there you would click on their name and use this arrow to move them over to moderator rights and give them moderator rights. An easier way to do that though is just clicking this box, any participants. Students are labeled as participants, instructors are labeled as moderators. So in clicking this box that would alleviate having to move the names over individually. You can click all moderators. This area here is if you're having a guest speaker or somebody that's not registered in your course that will be attending the session. From here you can check this box. A link would be generated that you would give your guests and that would allow them to log in to the Collaborate session, not into your Blackboard course as a whole. Under Sharing, the tab Sharing, if you have any preloaded items such as a introductory slide or a whiteboard that's pre-done, you would browse your computer, search it out, and preload it in. You do not have to worry about anything here under 2-3. That is just stuff that is not particularly set here at Wilmington University. Under content area, again, you want to name it what the name of the room is. So I previously had collaborate room. This is where the link is going to be located. You're making the room itself under the information tab. The back end, you'll be making the room, but you want to have your students gain access to it. So it is where in your navigation menu, as you can see here, these are reflective of the buttons that are here. So I will click it under collaborate. I can put a description to describe what kind of room it would be. This is the room where you complete your assignment or this is where we will have virtual office hours at this particular time. You could type that in here. Under the options area for date, you can uncheck those. You don't necessarily need those. 
because the dates have already been established when you made the room under the information tab. And now you are ready to submit your room for creation. When you hit submit, the room is created successfully. As you can see, this is the back end area. Consider it backstage for your Collaborate rooms. Any room you make within your courses under your account will appear here. And from this designation, you can see that we just made a room. And for the students to gain access to it, they will click on the Collaborate button and you see the Collaborate link already established for them. That is how you create a Collaborate session.